This video contains urgent words of warning and judgment from the spirit of prophecy. Testimony of Jesus. No, Christians cannot be demon-possessed because we are God-possessed. this day and I say when you see a man who is wise in his own conceit, who is full of his own stupidity and darkness and is full of the vanity of his way, what do you see? I say you see a fool who is not serving me, but I say that he's serving Babylon's Jesus. And I say that he loves it so, for he imagines that he gets his way, but I say that the way that he gains is a way of destruction. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to destruction, but I say that I call you to my life. And I say that I call you to be thankful each day that you can be uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me. And I say that I call you to be thankful each day that you can be given the blessedness, the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who will indeed bring forth the people who are ever trusting in me. But I say that the ones who are trusting in their own understanding, who are trusting in their sins, who are trusting in their lives, are nothing but utter fools. And I say it is me, the living God, who is at this time stripping away their mask of pretension and showing them for exactly what they are. For I say it is me, the living God, who in my wrath revealed is turning men over to what it is that they want more than me. Now I say there are multitudes who use my name in vain, but I say they do not serve nor love me. But I say they love their own way, they love the foolery, the vanity, the stupidity, the darkness of the saints. And I say all the while they are far from me, far from the truth, the light, the mercy that I provide. And I say they've gone pouring and the same will prove to be damnation of their souls. Now I say this day that I don't have been God never called you to damnation and the destruction of the same. But I say that I've called you to walk in the straight and in a way that I provide, ever thankful to be guided by me. For I say when it is me that you will be looking unto, believing and trusting, then I say you are guided in life. And when it is me that you look to day by day, then you are given the truth of who I am. Now I say this day that it is me that will think God who is shining the light upon the workers of iniquity, and yes, they will run like rats. For I say it is my time to ferret out the ones who are full of inward rebellion and will not deal with the same. And I say it is likewise my time to reveal the iniquity that men and women give themselves to rather than me. For I say when I'm thoroughly disgusted with the players, the pretenders, the hypocrites, the mockers, then I say that I cast them out. That is, after they have been given their chances and they take no advantage of the same to the extent of repentance, then I say it is me, the living God, who ventilates wrath upon them. And I say, when my wrath is revealed upon the wicked, I say, do not mourn over the same. That I say, instead, be thankful, may God, for the privilege to keep serving me. And I say, be thankful, may God, for the privilege to walk in the truth, the light, the mercy of who I am. Now I say this day when you look upon what it is that I, the living God, will do for thee, I say that I bring thee forth. That is, I will bring thee forth in newness of life, I will bring thee forth in the truth, the power, the glory that I provide. 
And I say, when you really consider that it is by my mercy that you are strengthened day by day, I say, be thankful unto me. And I say, be thankful to walk in that which I give you and be replenished and rejuvenated by me. So I say, when you truly will keep your vision upon me, I say, you will not be bound under my wrath, my war revealed upon the ungodly, the perverse, the vile, the unclean. But I say that you will be brought forth, uplifted, directed, and ever guided in me. And I say that you will be given the truth that I don't have in God alone can bring, for I am indeed well able. When I say it is me, the living God who gives to the ones who serve me the way wherein they can be kept. Now I say this day, be glad for the privilege to believe upon me, to trust me, and obey me each day. And I say, be made glad that I give you the light always that you can walk circumspectly in me. For I say, you are living in times when my wrath revealed upon the wicked shall be made grossly manifest. And I say, when men will see the utter end of devastation that I bring them unto because they have chosen their wickedness, I say, it is a time to rejoice. That is, do not be found mourning over the woes of the wicked, but I say, instead, be thankful unto me. For I say, it is me that have been God who is emulating my fury for it is my time to do so. And I say it is me, the living God, who will mock the nations that have turned aside from me. And it is me, the living God, who will bring down the crowd who think they remain forever when it absolutely is not true. And I say it is because I am disgusted with men and women who have walked afar off from me. And I say they've gone pouring after that which will prove to be destruction of their souls, destruction of their lives, and yes, they are worthy to receive the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, absolutely do not intend that many would follow in the ways of wickedness, and yet they do. And I say it is me, the living God, who is bringing the severity of chastisement, of wrath and fury and indignation revealed because men have desired evil rather than good. And I say when they are thoroughly beaten with the whip of my chastisement upon them, I say there are some who will repent. And I say that they will be brought low to whereby they can walk in me. But I say the majority will perish in the darkness, the sin they have chosen above me, because they have loved it to be so. I say this day do not go in the way of sin and darkness, do not go in the way of evil and wickedness, but I say come forth in my way. And I say each day be thankful to be uplifted, directed, and that are guided by me. And I say be made glad that I purpose thee in the blessedness, the truth, and the light day by day. For I say when it is me that you are believing, it is of me that you are receiving all of thy days. Now I say this day, let it be me that you will look to, let it be me that you will believe and trust. For I say, if you are brought forth in the way that I give thee, then I say you are guided each day. And yes, you are given the light upon the path, the truth, the strength, and the mercy of who I am. For I say that I, the living God, absolutely do not withhold any good thing from the ones who will walk uprightly in me. But I say that I do bring forth my righteousness, my blessedness, my truth, and my life to those who will walk in my way. Now I say this day, be glad that I, the living God, am ever present unto you to guide you forth, to uplift you, and direct you in life. That is, that you do not need to be under the wrath the fury revealed. For I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed bringing forth destruction that will be heaped upon many because of disobedience towards me. And I say, while they are so proud, so smug, so arrogant in their vain conceit, they are far from me. I say this day, be glad that I, the living God, will give you the light every single day if you desire to walk in the same. But I say, when any chooses an opposition that is the way of darkness, evil, and iniquity, I say they are choosing the way of death. Do not choose the way of death and likewise be destroyed. But I say, be choosing the way of my life and be brought forth in me. Now I say, be glad that I, the living God, am the one who gives to you the privilege to believe upon me, to trust me, and obey me each day. And I say, be made glad that I am the one who guides you forth as you continue trusting, believing, and hoping in me. For I say that you do not need to be as the foolish who are made ashamed. But I say that you can be brought forth as the righteous who are ever strong and full of the vibrancy of my presence day after day. For I say it is me, the living God, who imparts my strength, my mercy, my truth, and my life to those who cleave to me. 
are saying this day that I would have been God am giving you real and true examples of those who turn aside how demonized they quickly become. For I say they go out from under the covering of truth and light and mercy to take on the covering of death. And I say they become grossly steeped in lies because they are liars within. That is, they have wanted the hypocrite show rather than the truth. I say this day that it is me, the living God, who will send to them the utter devastation that they are worthy to receive. For I say when people will mock me and scoff me, mock my standard and my truth, and put on the hypocrite show, I say they are full of iniquity within. And I say it is me, the living God, who will drive them out to the desolated places of punishment that I have prepare. I say this day be glad for the privilege to trust, to believe, to look to me. And I say be glad for the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope of who I am. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to desolation, but I say that I've called you to life. And I say that I've called you to walk soberly each day in me, for I am your God. And I say if it is me that you look to in faith, in trust, in confidence, it is me who brings you forth, and it is me, the living God, who will uplift, guide, and direct you day by day. I say this day when you see the wicked who are wagging their tongues and expounding on how great they are and how much they know and how privileged they are to be apart from me, can't you see what utter fools they are? For I say they are destined to their own destruction, their own damnation, and I say they are fools who will be cursed in their folly. And I say there are those among them who are cursed already to perpetually wander, never ever able to stabilize again. And I say it is because they refuse to abide in me. I say be thankful even now for truth, for light, for mercy, and the hope that I provide. And I say be thankful even now that you are uplifted, directed, and guided by me, the one true God who is able. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give you tender mercy, loving compassion, and the truth day by day. And it is me, the living God, who guides you forth, that you can indeed be strengthened by me. For I say to me, you are guided, directed, and corrected, and given the truth and the light upon the path. And I say to me, so are you shown that I am the one true God who is able. For I say it is a privilege to believe, to receive, and be brought forth in my way. And I say it is a privilege to be knowing that in thee you are given eternal life. I say this day do not reach out to the arm of flesh in any of its disguises, but I say keep your trust in me. For I say you are not meant to run to human authority nor dignitaries and think they can do something for thee. But I say you are meant to depend upon me as the maker, the keeper, the one who is the rock of refuge unto thee. And I say you are meant to be thankful that you are and be guided forth in my way. Now I say be glad to believe, be glad to receive, be glad to continue each day in me. That is, in the truth, the light, the mercy, the hope that I provide. And I say, be made glad that in me you are given my blessedness time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is righteousness, truth, mercy, strength, and hope provided. Therefore, I say, continue as a steadfast people who are ever hoping, believing, and looking to me. For I am the one who will keep you day by day. And I say, be made glad that through me you are guided forth. That is, in the truth, the light, the strength, and the mercy that I provide. And I say this day, be thankful that it is me, the living God, who is thy shield, and thy rear guard. It is me, the living God, who is the keeper of thy souls. And it is me, the living God, who brings you forth, that you can indeed be uplifted and walking in the truth of who I am. Therefore, I say, continue as a steadfast people, ever thankful to be guided in me. And I say, continue in the blessedness, the strength, the truth, and the mercy of who I am. For I say, through me you are given the hope, through me you are given the peace, the strength, and the truth. And I say, through me you are kept each and every day. But I say to the lawless, the wicked, the careless, the foolish, who want their own way, I say it is me, the living God, who turns them over, and they are consumed in the same. For I say, when I, the living God, do take my hand off a man, off a woman, I say they will be devoured by the wretchedness that is found within them. And yes, they will be beaten down with many stripes because they are fools, they are dogs, and I say they want their way. And I say they become as unclean beasts before me because they have rejected my mercy, my covering, my life, my love given unto them. And I say they have trampled that which I, the living God, did give unto them. And I say they are definitely worthy of wrath. I say thank me and praise me that you are in the time of my war against the wicked, and the effort of war will not cease, but only mount up with greater rage against them. For it is the time of their destruction, demise, and damnation. Demon-possessed. Answer. No, they can't be. And I'll tell you why. 
When you put your faith in Jesus Christ, a sign is effectively hung around your neck that says, under new management. Okay? You belong to the Lord now. And Jesus is not into a timeshare program. Isn't that nice to know? This is Milda Gilbert, 3010 Yankee Road in Middletown, Ohio. How long have you been demon possessed like this, young lady? Well, I've been taken there since last uh, winter, and then I was delivered up in our church, and then I got with it again. About, Thank God uh, for you again. Yeah, Another body on the beach. How many do we have to see? You know, we don't get to see all of them that are out there because the media doesn't want to show it. I saw the end of the world. I could feel all this death.